What is a dirty business tactic that you know and everyone should be aware of it? If you're buying a used car and it's parked over a puddle, they don't want you to look underneath. Mattress stores that have the find it anywhere else for cheaper, you get your money back. Deal contract with the manufacturer to make the exact same model of bed, but with a model name specific to that store, so nobody can ever cash in on that deal. Not sure if this fits, but if you are offered a raise for taking on new responsibilities, get it in writing. Just learned that the hard way. Been there myself. Manager promoted me, said pay raises will come soon based on performance, then suddenly he wasn't my manager anymore. No paper trail of the promotion, or promised pay raises, but I was still, stuck with the extra responsibility. Every month and every 4 weeks sound similar, but are different. Paying every month gets you 12 payments, every 4 weeks gets you 13. Edit. Thanks for a top comment, just something my dad taught me when I first got a debit card. When finding a home for your elderly parents, set up an appointment, but come in a few minutes early and say, don't ask if you can walk around for a quick look. The receptionist likely won't refuse you, and the salesperson won't be ready for you. These places like to show you only the stuff they want you to see when being led around by a salesperson. Chat with a resident or a staff member, they'll be the most honest with you. When I was in the process of moving into my current home I transferred the title of my old home and land to my sister because she was buying it and moving in when I left. Within the next few weeks she started getting all the welcome to the neighborhood coupons and flyers. She didn't even change her address, so I assume companies track title changes with the register of deeds. The sketchiest was a pest control company claiming to have an existing account on the property and recommending she continue to use their services. They detailed dates and changes, referenced termites. It was all lies. All the dates shown were while I owned the property and I never even heard of this company before she received that letter. When moving out of a rental apartment slash house make sure to take lots of pictures and ask the owner slash landlord to do a walkthrough with you. Video the walkthrough. That way if they do not give you all your deposit back you have something to take to court vs he said he said which you generally lose. When you turn in cable slash internet equipment make sure to get a full receipt showing what they took in and the date it was received. Scan this and email to a couple different email accounts. Comcast and others are bad about losing the equipment a couple years later, after you forget, and then billing you. A local lawn maintenance business takes advantage of unsuspecting customers in three ways. On monthly bills, they double the state tax, instead of being, say, 6%, it'll actually be 12%, if you check the math. Without discussing it with homeowners, they charge double for double cuts when the grass is a little taller in areas than usual. So, if you had agreed to pay $50 per mowing, the monthly bill says $100 for each visit. They never ask, they just do it and charge double. In most cases, it's just a small patch of the yard that has taller grass, not the entire thing. They are supposed to mow once per week. But without telling customers first, they start mowing every 5 days, which means they get to charge for more mowing visits per month than necessary. Debt collectors will have detectives call you from a number that appears to be a legitimate law enforcement agency when you google it. It's actually a spoofed caller ID using a legitimate agency's fax number. The detective will threaten arrest and throw around names of local judges. The debt collector will claim to not know the detective who left the message, but will be willing to take care of your debt. Edit time, yes, it's illegal, but it's very hard to prove and that's why they do it. Law enforcement or courts will only call you in the case of theft, like a heart check, but will never call for an old debt. It's civil and they don't have jurisdiction. It's not dirty as it's legal, but there is a reason that stores ask you to donate some amount to a charity or fund. They can use your donation to help them get a tax write-off. An older fellow I know had a bodega, and he'd put a can of cream con on the counter by the register. This was some time ago, so the van had a price tag of $0.17. He sold that can of cream con to everyone who bought anything there. 
if they realized they were paying too much he'd just say he thought that was their can of con. Most people didn't notice though, and he sold that same can of cream corn maybe 20 times a day. My elementary school would host a fun day every year, where there were booths, games, activities, etc. They'd get the kids to help out with various small tasks too. One year when I was about 9 my task was to help sell the little potted geraniums, $0.25 each. Well, no one was buying any of them, so I had a brilliant idea, I made a new sign that said, buy one for $1, get three free. Those little geraniums sold like hotcakes after that. I was so proud of myself I told the principal. He did not approve, though he let me do it anyway. It's a wonder I didn't turn into a little Gordon Gecko. Probably only the Bonaitis kept it in check. <laughs> Giving someone a promotion just to get them back on a probationary period so they can be fired without cause or repercussion. Happened to my wife recently. They were able to twist some information to make her look bad enough to can and with no risk of legal recourse because she was on probation with her new position. Wife said they did the exact same thing to someone within the past year, guy one employee or the year, was promoted and promptly fired. In France it's hard to fire or lay off people, so when big companies need to clean house a bit, they move the office to a new location quite distant from the current one. In the process they reduce the office size from 50,000 seats to 30,000 because they've estimated that amount of people will resign rather than endure a 4 hours commute. But officially totally you still have your job if you want, we are not laying you off, but I need you in the office every day. Or you could resign if you don't like the new location. Nestle did that and apparently it's fairly common now for multinationals around Paris. The U1 a TV slash $5,000 slash base boat. Scams at car dealerships. Generally, you get a flyer in the mail that says scratch off X to see if you won. You always win the biggest prize, but when you read the fine print, you actually only win the right to spin some wheel or put your name in a box for a drawing. The employees, friends and family always actually get the boat slash TV slash cash. Your win is just a tactic to get you into the dealership. A fun thing to do is waste the manager's time. Go to the dealership, prize flyer in hand. Find a nice car. One with all of the options. Ask for every dealer add-on they offer and tell them you don't want to waste time negotiating. You have cash. Talk to the manager and keep going back to him slash her. Insist on a test drive with the manager. Convince them you want to buy the car and get to the paper work phase. Then, just before you sign, inform them that they haven't sold you a car. They've sold you on the idea of buying a car. Get the manager's card and tell them you'll be dropping their card in a hat with other dealership manager's cards. A card will be selected at random and that dealership manager will be notified by mail in 4 to 6 weeks. Let them know that the actual car you buy may not be the one used in your promotion. I know a guy who does pest control who specializes in raccoon removal. He takes the raccoons from one house in one neighborhood, then takes and releases it in another neighborhood then waits for the people there to reach out to him to remove the raccoon from their home. When I worked at H&M we used to do some sneaky stuff with setting up the mannequin slash displays. Whenever we had a supply of shirts that were really ugly and weren't selling well, we'd put the ugly item on the mannequin and it would sell out very quickly. This isn't necessarily the dirtiest trick, but it worked pretty well for pushing really ugly clothes. The higher priced items like prime rib and seafood is typically at the end of the buffet line and cheaper more filling options like bread and mashed potatoes are at the front. They hope you fill up your plate space slash stomach space by the time you get to the high ticket items. People lie about salary, starting pay, raises, etc. all the time. Learn to play hardball. For a multi-million dollar company, another 10 $20,000 is nothing. My office had a lockdown on raises over 3% and going into an annual review I learned that my boss had lied and underpaid me for the starting position. He claimed they had a $60,000 budget for the position and couldn't exceed it. I found out the last person in the job got paid $75,000.
so I got an offer from a competitor for over double my current pay, knew they couldn't afford to lose me with the amount of work coming in, and slid my offer letter over to my boss during the review. They matched the offer, gave me a $10,000 bonus up front, and even cut me into a percentage of a business line. The beating was awkward as hell, and it was difficult to do, but it's business. A locksmith I knew would rekey locks using old worn down pins, which caused the locks to stop working prematurely without the pins being crisp, eventually the lock jams or the key quits working. He would then await the inevitable call to replace them, rekey them with good pins, and be good to go. You could make an extra $65 a customer this way. We never did, I'm certified as a master locksmith, NLA and Aloha, but we repaired a lot of locks this charlatan fixed. We complained to the NLA and Aloha, and got his bond status revoked. If you get a lock repaired, and it doesn't feel as crisp as a new zipper, when you put in the key that first time, they may have pulled this trick.